Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So the third and final part of Global's 6th anniversary celebration will be starting literally tonight at 8pm Eastern Time or 5pm Pacific Time. And honestly, I meant to release this video a little bit earlier or at least not on the same day as part 3, but I kind of just lost track of the days. You know, it's been a crazy month, so that's my bad. But either way, before everything goes down tonight, I want to make sure you guys are fully prepared. So in today's video, we're going to be breaking down all of the upcoming events, units, and banners that we can expect to see in part three. Now, before we jump into it, I want to give a big shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Madara Accounts. They are an online store for stacked global and JP Dokkan accounts with thousands of stones as well as a lot of really good units. So if that sounds like something that you would be interested in, then definitely go down to my description, check out their website. And if you see something you like, you can use my discount code TIGER for 20% off your entire purchase. I've been working with moderate accounts for a while now, no complaints at all. Really, really good service. So uh, yeah, there you go, moderate accounts, check them out. And with all that said, let's uh, jump right into this preview. And the first thing we'll do is read this little intro here. So it says, Intense X Fierce, Transcendent Thanksgiving, Dokkan 6th Anniversary Celebration Part 3 is now on. In Part 3, with a new Extreme Z battle and a new Extreme Z area, it'll be possible to Extreme Z awaken reps of Universe 7 characters, challenge the events, and collect the necessary awakening medals. In addition, there will be a co-op campaign to challenge together with friends and let's play with Dokkan until the end of the 6th anniversary. So yeah, a little bit bittersweet because obviously it's been a... I mean, I guess there's going to be different opinions, but I feel like it's been a pretty good anniversary and it always feels kind of sad when these things end. But uh, as you know, it says here, there's still a lot of stuff for us to do. So it's uh, not over yet, right? So. The first thing we have are some transcended missions or just, you know, regular missions. And uh, the cool thing about these missions is that we will finally be able to collect the remaining... How many tickets is it? I think we might have 50 out of the 66 tickets. Something like that. So I believe we can get the remaining 16 tickets now. Either way, whatever the remaining amount is, we'll be able to collect all of them, get our 66 tickets, and to our free guaranteed LR multi on the 66 summon banner. So that's going to be pretty exciting for a lot of people. Make sure you guys get your tickets. And uh, we'll be doing that summon, of course, on the channel later on. And then from there, we have the new co-op campaign. And this should be pretty much exactly the same thing as like the ones we got before as well for part one and two. And uh, yeah, we get some stones, get some guides, get some training items, some, you know, uh, anniversary coins, all that good stuff. And then once we complete this uh, co-op thing, we also get a new wallpaper where we have Jiren versus Goku and Frieza. So that's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, that's the co-op campaign. Now after that, we're going to be getting a new Extreme Z battle for a very... I mean, at the time at least. Right now we are fully aware, right? Most people know this was coming. But at the time, a very unexpected, just like the... UI Goku in part 2 actually, but nobody saw this coming. Nobody thought that LR Goku and Frieza and already really really overpowered, at least offensively unit, right? Like at the time they were I, st I think still the top like damage dealer in the game. I think they were still the hardest hitting LR in the game and right now I'm not really sure where they rank, maybe still top 3 or something like that. Actually, I mean with the ZA they might be back to number one. I'm not sure, but they're still up there. And even without the EZA, they're hitting extremely, extremely hard. But this EZA gives them a lot more defensive capabilities. And um, yeah, they're coming, guys. So that's dropping tonight. We're also going to be getting Extreme Z Awakenings for all of the free-to-play U7 units. The Roshi, the UI Goku, the uh, Roshi and Tien, as well as the uh, Android 18 and Krillin. So... Uh, that's going to be this Extreme Z area right there. And also we're getting the four final stages for the God of Destruction event. It's going to be, I believe, Rumshi, Belmod. Uh, 
I forgot the other guys' names. <laughs> we'll see in a second, but four more gods of destruction to take on. I'll try to beat as many of them as possible during the stream tonight. We are streaming tonight, of course, as we did for part one and part two, so tune in if you can. And uh, after that, we have a new explosive chain battle. Haven't seen this in a minute versus full power Jiren. So there you go. That is your quick overview of uh, all the, you know, part three events, the wallpaper, all that good stuff. And I believe we're also going to be getting those like end of the anniversary screens. So these ones right here with like 18 and Brian, the U7 guys, the Gods of Destruction. Um... We got the MVP 17 with the uh, Super Shenron, as well as, you know, Jiren UI, SSB, and his family, and uh, Roshi, Goku, and Jiren. So, it's going to be some nice graphics to, to look at over the course of the next week or so. And, yeah, now let's move on to a quick or, like, more in-depth breakdown, I guess, of each thing, just so you guys have some more information. So, we're going to jump over to the Extreme Z Battle event for the Goku and Frieza. And their weakness is going to be the legend hit. Okay, so for these events, it's kind of different, right? Usually it's just like a category and that's it. But there is a weak um, link. So it's going to be legendary power where if you have the legendary power link activated, you can do increased damage. And then if you have universe survival saga units, then you'll take less damage, which is going to be key because these guys hit really, really hard. And from what I heard, it's as hard, if not, maybe even a bit harder than the LR Broly Extreme Z battle. And if you guys remember that, I mean, that is... Like, even I struggled, man. I struggled a bit on that one. I mean, it. it I don't think I died. I might have died once. I might have died once uh, during, like, level 9 or 10 or something like that. But either way, that was pretty hard. If this one's even harder then definitely bring as many units, you know, LR units as possible with Legendary Power, and also, of course, try to bring as much Universe Survival Saga as you can. Ideally, run a full team of U, uh, USS units, right? And then from there, we have your standard 10 stages, right, for the first, uh, or for the medals that you need, and it's going to be 3 stones per level, so you're actually getting your 30 stones for completing the 10 stages, You'll have all the Extreme Z Awakening medals you need to fully Extreme Z Awaken LR Goku and Frieza. You're also getting a ton of uh, potential orbs too, and also some Kai's. So um, let me just quickly take a look at the rewards here. It's going to be 30 stones, right, for the first 10 stages, and then 45 medals, which is what you need to Extreme Z Awaken them. And then you got five Kai's, and also enough tech orbs, I believe, to actually rainbow a tech unit. So. If you guys need the orbs for Goku and Frieza, I'm assuming most people already gave them orbs, but if you need the orbs, there you go, or you can save them for another tech unit, right? So, some really, uh, you know, good rewards for this one. It's gonna be tough, though, so uh, we'll see how... We'll see how things go. We'll see how things go. Uh, let me take a quick look at the missions here. So, we get three stones for completing stage seven once. All right, and uh, for Universe Survival Saga, I mean, they don't have any, like, additional damage reduction against any specific types, but obviously they are a tech-type enemy, so int types would be the guess, best against them, right? So you're looking at units like SSB Vegeta, you're looking at guys like the UI Goku, um, you know, the new uh, U7 LR, Topo would be probably pretty solid if you have another U7 unit, or U U11 unit in there, and, um... Yeah, I mean, bring what you can, like, other guys, like the, you know, UI Gokus would probably be pretty good as well. I mean, this guy has type disadvantage, but he does have 50% chance to crit, so you're probably still doing some pretty good damage with him. And uh, I would recommend everybody to bring Khalifla, okay? Bring Khalifla just because she gets guaranteed dodge. So, if you if you are struggling with, like, the, the damage they're doing, if you need some more damage reduction... I mean, 100% dodge is 100% damage, damage reduction. So, yeah, make sure to bring her. She's going to help a lot. And, uh, yeah, good luck, guys. <laughs> good luck. Uh, we'll see how things go, man. I'm a little bit nervous. I'm not going to lie, because I'm expecting to have some trouble. But I know we're going to get it done. So, we'll do a showcase for them soon as well. So, look forward to that. And from there, we have the Extreme Z battle. Or, sorry, the Extreme Z area. Extreme Z area for the free-to-play units. And there's going to be four stages, one for each unit. So the first one's going to be for Roshi, 
Second one's going to be for uh, Aetin and Krillin. Third one's for Roshi and Tien. And the fourth one is for uh, the UI Goku. And just like always with these, with these Extreme Z battle events, why do I keep saying Extreme Z battle? These Extreme Z area events, there is a limited pool of characters you're allowed to bring. So this is the uh, pool that's available to us. And in terms of the best leader here, I believe this Krillin actually is the best lead because he's 120%. He plus 3, 120% to uh, reps of Universe 7, right? So if you guys have him, he's definitely a good leader. Um, otherwise, you could bring the new uh, free to play uh, mastered or, you know, Ultra Instinct Goku, the free to play anniversary one we got. He's a 66%. I think he plus three sixty six percent two reps of universe seven. Let me just quickly check. Actually, I, I should stop guessing. Uh, okay, so yeah, reps universe seven. He plus three HP attack and defense plus sixty six percent. So he wouldn't be a bad choice either. But of course, the Krillin is better. And for the rest of the team, uh, I guess it kind of depends on who you're fighting. But I would probably bring something like you know Roshi, uh, Piccolo, and and uh, Gohan is really good. Um, I mean, all these guys are going to be good after the easy A's, but for now, I'll probably bring Fit Boo just because of his great, you know, attack and defense boost. And, uh, who else would I bring? Maybe, maybe this 18. She's really solid. And then I'll probably bring these guys as well for the support. So that's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. Something like that. Something like that. Okay, so. Aside from that, you know, it's your standard Extreme Z area event. You just run the stages over and over again until you get enough medals to uh, fully Extreme Z awaken the, the units. So for Roshi, there's only one stage because obviously there's only one type of medal for the LRs. And then for uh, the other guys, the first level, the first difficulty is going to be for the bronze and silver medals. And then for the gold and rainbow medals, it's going to be on the second level. And uh, that applies to all three of them. So... Yeah, that's the Extreme Z area right there. And now let's jump over to the actual, um, the, oh, actually, I forgot about this one. Okay, so I was gonna say, let's talk about the details for each EZA, but before we get to that, let's talk about these new Gods of Destruction, right? So it's gonna be stages nine to 12, starting with level nine, Sidra, the universe nine God of, Dest God of Destruction, who is Super Fizz. And then we have level 10 Rumshi, Universe 10 God of Destruction, the Elephant guy, and he's Super SDR. And then Belmod is level 11, and this guy is going to be a problem for a lot of people. Mainly because he has a lot of annoying effects, man. This guy can lock your rotation, so he can't move your characters, which is super, super annoying. And then, he also can seal your super attacks, and on top of that, he can launch two super attacks in the same turn so he can also hit you really hard so like this guy just does all the bad things man like all the things you don't want to see from a boss this guy does so uh yeah that's gonna be annoying but either way um i'm excited for the challenge for sure i mean beerus i expected a little bit more and he wasn't too bad so maybe belmont's not gonna be nearly as bad as he seems on paper we'll see and he's gonna be super agl and finally we have gene is it just is it Gene or Gene? I don't know. Uh, Gene Universe 12, God of Destruction, the fish guy, and a super int. So there you have it, guys. Four new gods, Sidra, Rumshi, Belmont, and Gene. We'll try to take them all down in tonight's stream. I'll see you guys there. And uh, we also have, of course, the event that I would like to forget most times, uh, Explosive Chain Battle versus Full Power Jiren. The advantageous categories are Powerful Comeback, reps of universe 7 and universe survival saga and the advantageous characters are goku and frieza we got the blue boys the ui gokus the ssb vegeta um the new lrs from part 2 as well as some 17s some golden friezas and also lr master roshi so uh yeah we'll try that as well these ones are always a bit i guess experimental right um you have to try some different combinations see what what like the top scorers are using so i'm not gonna give you guys too much you know too many tips or advice right now we'll uh just play it by year once we get there all right so that's full power jiren and now we can get into the details for 
the Extreme Z Awakenings, the Goku and Frieza, the Master Roshi, Tien and Roshi, Krillin and 18, and also the UI Goku. So starting with the one that I'm assuming most people are the most excited for, we have the Tech LR Goku and Frieza and their leader skill. So this part's gonna be the same. I was kind of hoping it would be like 180% or like, I don't know, 200%. That's probably too much though. That, that would have been too much, but either way, this part stays the same. It still reps universe seven, key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 177%, or tech types, key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 120%. So that's an increase from 90%. And then 12K super raises defense for one turn, causes colossal damage and lowers attack. And then Ultra Super raises defense for one turn, causes Mega Colossal damage, and lowers attack and defense. So both the supers now raise defense, which was not a thing before. And then their passive is attack and defense plus 77% when attacking, plus an additional attack and defense plus 77% when performing an Ultra Super attack, plus an additional attack plus 77% when the target enemy is in attack down status, in defense down status, stunned, or the target enemy's super attack is sealed. So before, they only got this additional 77% attack when the target enemy was in attack down status. So it kind of limited their ability to get their full attack or full offensive uh, power off, right? But now you can get it for attack down, defense down, stun, or sealed. So it's gonna be much easier to get their full passive. And then finally, they also get key plus one at the start of each turn up to key plus seven. So um, if you had any key issues with them, which I didn't find to be a huge issue, but it does help to get up to seven key by themselves as opposed to relying on a support like the tech TN or something like that, right? And then their links, uh, actually, you know, you know what? I'm not gonna talk about these because they stay the same. If you guys know, knew what they were, then they're still the same as before. But uh, that is the, uh, LR, Goku, and Frieza, man, just much, much better defensively, even better offensively now because they do get the additional five uh, super attack levels, and then they're also going to be more consistent on offense because they're going to be getting this additional 77% attack much more often than before. So, uh, yeah, there you go. That is the Goku and Frieza Easy 8. Cannot wait for these guys. And now we're going to jump over to the LR Master Roshi. His leader skill will be Turtle School Category Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 120%, 12 key Super Attack massively raises attack for one turn, causes Colossal Damage with a great chance of stunning the enemy, which by the way is 70%, and then the Ultra Super Attack raises attack by 628% for one turn, causes Mega Colossal Damage, and seals Super Attack, and then Passive is Defense plus 120% and Medium Chance, of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks, turtle school category allies, key plus three, and attack and defense plus 40%. And then if uh, HP is 50% or less at the start of character's attacking turn, and there are another two or more turtle school category allies on the team, revives with 60% HP recovered when the character or an ally attacking the same turn is KO'd once only. So the only difference here, I think, is that you come back with 60% HP as opposed to 50% HP, and then you do get a better um, support for Turtle School. You get a little bit more defense, and I believe everything else will be the same in terms of like the active skill and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, nice upgrade for LR Master Roshi, who was already really good pre Easy A. You know, like if he was a unit that didn't get an Easy A. I still would have been pretty satisfied, but the fact that he's getting an easy A, he's getting even better, is just, it's just amazing. So now we're gonna jump over to the Master Roshi and Tien, and uh, I'm stoked for these guys, because they're gonna be pretty much the best support on the U7 team. Leader skill, Earthlings, key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 77%, or tech types, key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 50%, super attack, supreme damage, seal super attack, and lowers attack and defense. And passive is attack and defense plus 70% plus an additional attack and defense plus 20% with each attack received up to 70% and then reps of universe 7 category allies key plus 3 attack and defense plus 40%. Now the next best support is right now I think is probably the Piccolo and Gohan or the you know Gohan and uh, Frieza because they're both at key plus 1 I think attack and defense plus 20%. 
uh, which obviously is not even close to what these guys provide. So I'm going to be running them a lot because I do love having support units uh, on my teams. And as I said, man, these guys become the best U7 support. So that's going to be awesome. And now let's talk about the Krillin and 18. Uh, join forces, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 77%, int types, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 50%, super attack greatly raises attack and causes supreme damage, and of course this can be stacked infinitely, and it's 50% for every single super. And then passive is changes fizz key spheres to int key spheres at the start of turn, launches an additional super attack with 5 or more int key spheres obtained, and then attack and defense plus 30% with each attack performed up to 180%. And these guys stack up really, really quickly, guys. Like, they they get really crazy in longer events because they're greatly raising attack with every super. They're launching two to three supers every single turn. So, yeah, like, their attack stat just gets so insane when you get later on in those, uh, like, you know, uh, Reps Universe 7. Or, sorry, uh, not Reps Universe 7 on those infinite Dragon Ball history or legendary Goku event stages. And lastly, we have this guy, the Phase Ultra Instinct Goku's Extreme Z Awakening, Leader Skill, Universe Survival Saga, key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 77%, or Fizz Types, key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 50%, Super Attack, raises Attack and Defense, infinitely stacking, causes Supreme Damage, and then passive is Universe Survival Saga. Category allies, key plus 3, attack and defense plus 30%, so really good support. And then attack and defense plus 120%, and high chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks. So he does a little bit of everything, man. He's got the great support, he's stacking attack and defense every single super, and he also has that 50% chance to dodge all attacks. And uh, that is the Fizz U7, or not, U not U7, Fizz Ultra Instinct Goku. Extreme Z Awakening. I think I'm still like partially asleep, man. That's what it feels like because like I'm making a lot of mistakes. It's kind of weird, but <sighs> we're good because we got through all of them. The Ultra Instinct Goku, the uh, Krillin and 18, Roshi and Tien, LR Master Roshi, and uh, Goku and Frieza Extreme Z Awakenings all coming tonight with the uh, third part of the anniversary. And finally, let's just quickly take a look at this guaranteed LR banner, which everybody will be able to summon on once you collect your remaining, I think, 16 tickets for part three, which by the way, will all be available through the uh, the missions. Okay, so just check those, make sure you do all your missions and you should be getting all your tickets. And the banner will be the same. As I said before, man, the, the banner is identical, the featured units are the same and the LR pool is also the same. So you can pull any of these LRs in your summon. Of course, one of them is guaranteed, but you can always pull like multiple. I've seen people pull two, three, four LRs in their 66 unit multi. So definitely a possibility. Um, so good luck to all of you guys. Hopefully uh, it's worth it. Hopefully you get an LR you want or multiple LRs you want. Uh, at this point, all I really need is some Jiren's. Uh, I think I need one more copy of Kaelin Khalifla. Uh, maybe one more of him. And one more copy of these guys. The Gohan and the Vegeta. But I think everybody else is rainbowed. I could be wrong. But we're pretty close to rainbowing like most of the... I mean any LR older than like a year at this point is close to rainbow or rainbowed for me. Um... So it's going to be kind of rough, most likely. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to pull another Rosé or maybe like a, like a Spirit Bomb Goku. You know, very good units, just not really usable for me anymore. But either way, yo, good luck to you guys. Pull what you want. And that's going to do it for the Part 3 preview. Uh, hope you guys are excited, man, for all this stuff that's coming. I know there's no new banner necessarily, like no new uh, LR or new unit. We will be getting, most likely, I think, a banner for the Goku and Frieza. So, that's technically a banner, but I don't think most people will be summoning on that one. At least, I mean, it's not a terrible idea, actually, considering how good they are. And the fact that there's not going to be that many featured units. Your rates are going to be pretty decent. So, I guess if you don't have any copies of Goku and Frieza, then maybe, you know, 
see how things go on that banner, but uh, I will not be touching that, of course, because uh, my Goku and Frieza are done now. So that's it, guys. That is going to be the part three preview. Hope you guys enjoyed uh, the video. And uh, as I've said, man, yo, tune into the stream if you can. If you can't, then that's okay. I'll still be on the channel. I'll be doing a bunch of showcases, a bunch of um, just like more content for part three until the end of the anniversary. And then we're going to be getting ready for the Videl banner, most likely after that, and also the Worldwide Celebration at the end of August. So, uh, yeah, the hype on Global's not over yet. I know there's a lot of crazy stuff going on on JP, but Global's about to be still pretty good for the next two months or so. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Video. Signing out.